Tessa Gaming here, and today I'm going to be starting a new series. Um, a while ago I downloaded this game called Forest on Steam. It's uh, $15. It's uh, I, I haven't put a lot of time into it, but um, it is definitely different. And it's got a little bit of real world survival and uh, just open world to it. Um, uh, with a mix of cannibals <laughs> to make it more interesting. So what we're going to do in the series is I'm going to start here. I'm going to let cinematic play through. I'm going to let everything be heard. And then I'm going to play for the first day of the game. And then when I choose to put my character to sleep, I'm going to cut the clip. And that'll be the end of this episode. And I'm going to keep going until my character dies. Um, which hopefully won't be in the first day because that would be really awkward. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on hard, which I have played on very little with two players or more. I've never played it by myself, so this will be an interesting challenge. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into the game, unless you guys see the uh, cinematic and everything like that. Um, uh, it does take a little bit to build the world. So general understanding of this game is it still isn't an alpha build, so it's still very early. But with it being this early of a game, and... What it's accomplished is amazing. I cannot wait to see what the developers bring to this game. And as we go through the game, I'll be giving some input and feedback, what I like, what I dislike, etc. Also, mind you, I am kind of sick right now, so I might go kind of quiet, might cough, um, and I apologize for that. But hopefully the game itself is going to actually get to the cinematic here in just a second, and we'll let you guys see the premise of the game. So right away, you have your character and then your son, Timmy. You can pick up his book. It says For Timmy on it, and it is the Survival Guide book. And I apologize, I don't know how the feedback is on top of being sick. I also, my mic broke, so. But here we go. You can see a guy painted red in front. Crawling towards my son. And blackout. So we're now in the game. To your character, nothing is known except for the fact that you have officially crash landed. Um, and that, yeah. You're, uh, there's a guy that took your son, so you gotta find your son. So I'm gonna start off by picking up everything I can find on the plane, and for some reason my sensitivity is really off. I might have to go in and change that. Yeah, let me go in and change that real quick. Uh, if I can even change the sensitivity. Mouse does not look like there is a sensitivity bar. That is perfectly fine. I'll I'll make it work. Just I've been playing uh, some other games on much lower sensitivity. So, all right, that should be everything on the plane. So we're gonna go on and jump on down here. Some lost luggage. I'm just gonna take my axe. I'm gonna smack it open. Do that on uh, as many of them as I can find. But I don't want to use up too much of my first day as. Um, it does get very real very fast. As you can see from the standard UI, there is your hunger bar and a water bar down the bottom. The red bar is uh, generally with like most games, most games it's your life bar. And the blue bar is actually your energy bar. So if I sprint around, you'll notice that bar slowly goes down. Um, the more hungry I am, the faster that bar goes down and it'll limit the cap of it as well. So it's very important to stay full, or you're not able to fight or run properly. Um, you begin going very, very slow. Now, I also haven't put in thousands of hours like most players have, so I don't know where everything is. I have a general understanding on where a lot of stuff is, but I by no means am a master of this game. And apparently I can't even hit this box. 
All right, I got what was in it. It's good. All right, now. Oh dear. Let's see if I can smack it. Nope, I missed. I need a bow. All right, let's go and get some berries, get some more water. Our thirst. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a rock, and I've got sticks. Alright, so if I remember correctly, when jumping out of the plane to get where um, I would like to be, I believe we go to the right. So I'm gonna run off in the distance to the right. I don't know why the game's being a little laggy right now. It normally isn't. Um, it might be just something to do with one of the new patches that they implemented. I honestly have no idea. Um, it also could just be very well the fact that I am recording. I've never tried recording this game before. Alrighty, I'm full on sticks. Grab a couple more rocks. Let's go up here on the ledge and get a general understanding of where we're at. Alright, so there's not really any landmarks here that I can easily tell, but I'm pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. Honestly, I've always seemed to come out of that plane and go to the wrong direction almost every time and end up spending an entire day walking across the island to find where I'd like to build because there's definitely a difference in building areas, um, whether it be, you know, aloe on the ground for me to make medicine, um, denser forest. Um, there's all kinds of things that alter the way you play. Um, for example, if I go up in the mountains, um, you're going to find that you do start to freeze, and they did implement on a previous patch that you can now actually freeze to death. Alright, so I found some water. I'm pretty sure I'm where I normally build at. Some marigold, yes, and I am. Okay, so I know right where I'm at, I'm in a good spot. Um, by the way, I'm not building in one of the safest spots in the game. Um, I'm not here to make you guys bored out of your mind watching me. Uh, this spot here, so you have an understanding, up that cliff is a village, as you can kind of see over there. There are three paths that the mobs seem to run on here, coming from up through the forest, along this ridge, down there and up. Also, because I'm building close to one of their villages, they seem to get very aggravated at you for breaking trees near their village. Um, so hopefully this should get intense within the first couple of days. But to get started, I'm going to go ahead and hit B, open up my book, I'm going to go into my shelters. And I normally don't do the small cabins. I mean, it's easy to make, but uh, because this is, you know, hard mode, I kind of just want to get something up quickly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and place that down there, and I'm going to go cut down some trees. I also don't like building in the forest because, you know, the trees do regrow, and uh, that can be quite annoying when you have a bunch of trees grow inside your base. And I did that wrong. I need to make cloth or rope first. Alright, I got a rope. Got a crafted axe. And uh, crafted axe is better than the uh, starting one. The, but the starting one is faster. The starting one is much better for um, fighting until you get a better weapon or until you're making bombs, molotovs, traps, etc. Uh, which I'm not going to rush right into because there's really no reason. So to finish this uh, base here, or this little hut right here, I'm going to need 13 logs. That's equivalent to four trees. Each tree gives four logs. Also, it is only day one, so we shouldn't see too much cannibalism action. However, like I said, we are right in a pathing area, so there is a definite possibility of them coming out. Uh, with the you know the side note of the village being right over there, we are like I said very close to a village. Um, they do not like you being around their village. Also, as a side note, this is the first time I've ever played this game by myself. Like I said, I've always had one or two people with me, so I will be trying to be a little bit more safe. I'll be more cautious of every little sound. Um, hopefully, it's not too loud for you guys. And like I said, I'm really hoping the, the, the reverb isn't bad, otherwise I'm going to have to completely redo this video. But uh, obviously if it's posted, it's not bad. So we're going to go ahead and finish off this tree right here. And I'm going to go build that house. That would have been really awkward if that tree had fallen on me.
Now, so you understand, the whole point of what I'm doing in this is it's not... I'm not trying to rush for the end game. I don't, I don't care to see what it's... how it ends. I don't. That's not the goal of this because you could easily find another video. It's I'm going to do what I can to populate this island with as much structure as I can. Um, not necessarily like Minecraft style building and stuff like that, but I want to see, I want to scope out the land, I want to be building bridges, I want to try to make it as big as I can, while at the same time having that side note that if I die, the series is done. Um, so that is the direct goal, is just getting as far as I can, doing whatever I can, but not, you know... Um, not just sitting here just like logging in, like, okay, can I stay alive, you know, until nightfall. Um, I am mostly going to be building through the day. Once I do get a little bit of a base up, I will start branching out to where we say, okay, let's see if we can survive nights. Um, but that probably won't be for a few more videos just because I want you guys to see the building process. And where the, the building process isn't as fun, it is definitely a part of the game. And a lot of people, I find a lot of people leave that small part out. And it kind of diminishes the purpose of this game. Like, this game, it is a survival game. It is labeled on Steam as survival. Um, it is not, you know, there is technically an end game to it. And I mean, that's cool and all, but I'm, yep, there's zombies already. Or not zombies, sorry, cannibals already. Um, oops. Oh, that's definitely not what I meant to do. Now I'm going to have to redo that whole structure. I oh, guess not. Just place a defensive wall here. And run it right over there. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to put a door right here. Because I like being right in front of my house. Uh, mind you, also, because this is my first one, I am going to keep it um, smaller. I don't like having, you know, huge, huge walls on the first day. Um... You end up getting too far behind, monsters come in, they cause problems with the sleeping, they'll wake you up, whatever it may be, and you just can't really get anywhere. Now, see, the reason I went with the smaller one is if I had the log cabin plus just those small walls, that would have been 82 plus 75 logs, and that's absurd for the first day. I mean, it's definitely doable, but with me talking and trying to communicate, also playing by myself, you know, I don't want to overburning myself on the first day and then have it become really stressful. I want to try to be able to get these walls up, um, make sure I have a little bit of food. Um, there is a cannibal right over there. You can kind of see him looking over at me. Actually, I don't think he's noticed me yet. Now he's definitely noticed me. He sees me. Now, from what I've read and been told, on day one, they really just watch you. They don't really interact with you, so as long as I don't fuck with him, he shouldn't fuck with me. Oh, nope, uh, that's definitely a wrong statement. Okay, I'm gonna go back and finish off this log. He is kind of fucking with me, but I want to go ahead and get these trees down. And, uh, alright, he came too close, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him out. Kill this bird here, get us some meat and some feathers. Go ahead and pick him up and go drop him on the fire. Just because I don't want to have any issues with them coming to eat each other, which they do. Um, I also don't want to have any issues of... Um, they also come after live birds. And when you leave a body on the ground, um, it brings birds. The flies bring birds. Um... So, it's definitely not a good idea to have a bad corpse on the ground um, for very long. I, this early on, anyways. Like, later on, won't be a big deal at all. I can leave as many on the ground as I want. But seeing as this is still a very early stage in this game, I don't want that there. Once I get the modern axe, trees come down a lot faster. Um, unfortunately, I have to go down to, into a cave, and there are actually some mobs you have to kill to get the modern axe, and one of those are legsy, and I don't want to mess with them right now, because I don't have any items. 
Whereas, you know, I could probably take him out with the uh, Molotovs early on. It's just not worth it to go for that right away. It's better for me to actually go ahead and get my first base set up, um, get some food ready to go, and just make sure I'm safe. So I'm just letting my energy go back up a little bit. You know, it is still early on in the game. I'm right next to where some coal is at. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some just to top it off and go back to cutting down some trees. And hopefully we won't get too much more cannibalism action because I, I really don't want to have to put up too much of a fight on day one. I've had it happen in uh, as a dual player where one of us has had to just constantly be in combat while the other one chops down trees. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen here. There is a cannibal nearby. I just heard the little... <laughs> So one's watching me right now. There's a good chance he's nearby. Not gonna worry about it too much. These are just day ones uh, cannibals. They don't even use sticks yet. So generally, I haven't seen anyone day one with sticks. But uh, yeah, see, there's one over there to the right. You can see his head kind of bobbing out behind that tree over there. There's a couple of them over there, actually. And I was wrong. That guy definitely has a stick on him. It does seem with each patch that they implement, they kind of up the... Uh, how difficult it is early on. Um, when I first downloaded this game, we didn't see anything until, like, day three. You know, we had a couple of the girls run at us. We took them out no big deal, and then it was like, you know, a patch dropped, and it was like, we started seeing things during day one, um, they were starting to hit a lot harder, a lot faster, they were definitely more of a threat to us on the day one, but not so much as to, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in here, now they, they can run through these walls right now, because they're obviously not complete, um, I don't think it deters them at all, um, but in, I, I do have the safety of my house right there that I'm going to go in now because, or I'm going to miss it and probably die here. There's a log inside of my house that's not good. Okay, I'm going to go and take a medicine, get the proper axe out here, and I'm going to go out there and kill them. God, this, this log is causing me problems. Major, major problems. Oh, okay, not thrilled about him being in here. Okay, go ahead and take this outside. Okay, we actually have a big guy over here, too. Drop him on there. Let's grab these bones real quick, like, and go back inside my almost already broken house. And let's see if I can get some bone armor made here. I don't remember how many bones it takes. I think that's enough. And no, we are one bone short. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just build a Molotov here and equip it. Like this. Fire, my bad, whatever. Um, there is another mob out there on day one. 
on day freaking one. Yeah, right, go ahead and take another medicine here. And uh, okay, he's got a club. Not not that big of a deal. I'm not too worried about him. Um, go out here and hopefully he doesn't get the jump on me here. Oh, there's a Jesus. Okay, we're gonna go back inside. Go ahead and equip that. It's not a lot, but it's definitely a little bit, and every little bit helps. My walls are kind of deterring them a little bit. I know I don't have enough logs down to complete it, but the more of this wall I can get up, the safer I am. And it's about to be the end of the first episode. These these won't be very long um, because it's just going to be day to day. But uh, the sun is about right there, so when it does go down, unfortunately, it's behind clouds right now, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's go back out here and see if we can grab a few more logs. And sorry about the text message, guys. That guy is now inside of my base. Try to grab a few more logs and get the side finished off because they seem to be coming from over there. So I want to finish the right side off first. I could have made this a little bit smaller, but I don't like being overly confined just because it's kind of obnoxious. Alrighty, and it's almost officially dark enough for me to sleep. So I think I'll go not grab that last log. I'm going to run inside my house here. That's, again, almost broken already on day one. I'm going to go ahead and hit that save button because I'm not going to stay on this. And there's Mob right there. Check it out. All right, it's so the slot one. All righty. And I'm going to go ahead and call that a night. I'm going to go ahead and hit the sleep button here so that way my character sleeps. Again, this series is going to keep going until my character dies. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to populate this world. Um, the structures and uh, just all around fill it up. Uh, but again, if I die, the series ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'm not supposed to be doing anything right now, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that log run back in my house. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm not only doing the forest, I'm going to start the series with quite a few other games. Um, Anyways, I don't want to waste this time, so I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, enjoy.